Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Jenna here with Sweet Tooth Baking and today we are going to be making a German chocolate cake. And I'm super excited about this recipe because I've been obsessed about it on all of my social media channels for the last like week. I'm just in love with this combination of chocolate, pecans, coconut, creaminess. It's just so good. So without further ado, let's begin. For your dry ingredients, first add your flour to your bowl and then sift in the cocoa powder. Add your sugar and then some baking powder and mix it really well to break up any clumps. I'm using a whisk to do this. Now for your wet ingredients, you're going to add some sour cream right into the mixture and then add your egg. Finally add some vanilla and to top it all off add some oil. I'm using canola oil here. And I'm telling you, this mixture already smells so good, so you can go ahead and just take a good old whiff. Now you have the option to add some instant espresso to heighten the flavor of chocolate. Finish off by heating your milk and water in the microwave and adding the hot liquid into your bowl. Mix really well. Your batter should look smooth. I'm using little 4 inch cake pans here and preparing them with some Pam spray to prevent sticking. Pro tip, use an ice cream scoop to help you measure out your batter. And all the leftover batter is going to be turned into some cupcakes. Now for the German chocolate filling. I'm adding some butter, brown sugar, cream and an egg to a saucepan. We're going to mix it up and bring it to a boil over medium heat. I made a mistake. So, I was actually supposed to add only one egg yolk instead of one whole egg. So ignore what you just saw and add only the egg yolk because I continued on with the whole, you know, one egg thing and then the whole mixture just curdled and it was a big mess and I was like, but why did that happen? And then I realized, don't do that. Okay, continue. Now with my fixed mixture, we're going to bring it to a boil and then remove it from the heat. Once it's slightly cooled down, you can add your shredded coconut, vanilla, and chop up some pecans. Once you've chopped them to your liking, you can go ahead and add it to your mixture and stir to combine. I'm also adding a touch of orange zest here to brighten things up, but this is optional and should be omitted if you're not a fan of citrus. And now finally to make the frosting, I'm adding butter, icing sugar, and vanilla to a bowl and I'll whip this on medium high speed for 5-8 to eight minutes to get it nice and fluffy. You have the option of adding a touch of cocoa powder in there as well to make chocolate buttercream. And now my cakes are out of the oven, so let's get started on the stacking. Alright, let's get to assembling this cake. What you're going to need is a cake turntable, a cake board, you're going to need a palette knife or some sort of a spreader, and you're going to need something to actually cut your cake. For today I'm using this old school tool that I've had for a really long time, but another really great option if you don't have something like this is to use a serrated knife. Let's get to the cutting part. You should be working ideally with a cool cake. You're just going to place it down on the counter and then you're going to grab either your serrated knife or your tool and you're just going to place it directly in the middle area and start with a sawing motion right across the whole entire cake. Just going to start here, just with a sawing motion right across. You can turn your cake around at the same time if you so wish. And by the time you make it through your whole entire layer, you have a pretty even layer of cake. So again, same rules apply with a serrated knife. Just hold your cake in one hand, saw in motion, and you can kind of turn the cake if you wish just to get a more even cut around your whole entire cake. So let's finish up with the rest of our layers and I'll show you how to assemble it. Also, can I just say how moist this is? When I poke it, it's just like, oh, look. Again, this is why I need a script, but pretty good, pretty good. I actually could use a little bit more sugar, but I can amend that in the recipe. Okay, back to it. To assemble the cake, alternate layers of cake, buttercream, and the coconut pecan paste until you've built it all up. I made a little well inside the buttercream layer to help hold the filling. You want to make sure that you don't place the filling too close to the edge, otherwise it will spill out. Alright, now that we have filled our cake, you have the option of leaving it just like this and serving it to your guests or keeping it for yourself. 
or you can continue to decorate however you feel. In this case, I'm just gonna continue to decorate. I like it looking a little bit more clean than this, so I'm just gonna tidy it up. Bringing some more reinforcements. I'm gonna give it like a naked style look. Now that I have my base layer of buttercream down, I'm just gonna go ahead with my scraper and just get rid of some of that excess buttercream to expose some of those cake edges. I like to hold my cake scraper pretty steady and turn the cake table. Let this do all the work instead of you doing the work. You know what I mean? As you can see, some parts of the cake underneath are starting to show and that's exactly the look I'm going for. I also kind of appreciate this like rough edge on the top. I feel like it gives it like kind of a nicer style. So I'm gonna stick with it just like this. And there we have it, a German chocolate cake with a naked buttercream style design. It's like a two-in-one video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in finding out how to fill those cupcakes from yesterday's baking with the filling and the frosting, then you can head over to my Instagram or TikTok at Sweet Tooth Baking for both channels and you can see what I've done there. Thanks for watching.